I am trying something new this year and I'm pretty excited to talk to you about it. It's called Simple Comb. Uh, Simple Comb is a, a basic system where the bees fill out these cassettes in a standard medium frame inside the hive. There are eight in this frame actually, and then you simply pop the cassettes out, fold them back over on themselves and separate them into beautiful packages of comb honey. I've been talking with Madison at Simple Comb and there are a few things that are very critical if you want to have success with this product. Number one, you have to have a very strong colony that is not afraid to go up through a queen excluder. Naturally, you want to use a queen excluder so the bees, so the queen doesn't get up there and lay in your beautiful comb honey. Number two, there's gotta be a really nice flow going. Right now here in South Alabama, the tallow is just kicking in. And uh, you also want to make sure that the simple comb is waxed to help stimulate the bees to draw these, this simple comb out. Anytime you deal with beeswax, it's always a good idea to have a barrier uh, between the beeswax and the surface you're uh, messing with. So I got parchment paper here, it works really well. A couple of ways to do this, the simple comb people, I think what they usually use, what they often recommend is that you use a, a little block of wax, you warm it up and you just kind of rub it along the, the pattern in here. What I'm doing is I'm just using a little black sponge brush here and you want it to be a real light layer. You don't want to fill in all the little grooves in here. You just want to kind of lightly coat it so it's mainly on the pattern. And just trying to be quick like this right here, get in all the corners. Make sure really the entire pattern is, is at least touched by the wax. Just shaking most of the wax off real quick. Just trying to touch the pattern with the brush, all the corners, and just move on. Last thing you want to do is just pour a bunch of wax in here and just mess this pattern up because it's designed to help them draw it out properly. If you look here, you'll see, you can still see the pattern. A few of the cells probably have a little bit too much in there, but overall, I think that probably did the job. Now, it is a little tricky to get the uh, simple comb into the frames. Last year, I ordered some just frames from a company, I, I'm not even sure 100% where I ordered it from, but they were super good quality frames, standard medium frames, but they were too thick. I think the top bar or the bottom bar one was too thick and it did not fit in the frames very well. I got these frames actually from Simple Comb at the Bee Expo, but I called and asked them where they get their frames from and they get them from Better Bee. There are probably a couple of other companies that, that work as well, but I just order them from Better Bee if I were you or order them straight from Simple Comb. I'll also tell you, it is a little bit of a learning curve to get the Simple Comb cassettes into the frames. I actually asked, reached out to Madison this morning and asked her if she would make a video of how they install the Simple Comb into the frames. And here's that video right here. She sure did make that look easy. But then again, she's probably popped them in hundreds if not thousands of frames. And by the 10th frame, I finally got it figured out to where it was pretty easy for me too. I decided to use an Endura Hive wax dip box from Greg Burns for this project. And it's, it's critical that these frames are pushed firmly up against each other. The way the cassettes are designed, when they push up against each other, it creates a bee space for the bees to get in there and draw it out, but they won't draw it out too far. So I was looking at the bottom and I think I need to press these frames a little closer together. Right here I have just a piece of plywood in here that's helping push them together, but I think I'm gonna actually push them a little closer together. These are just some extra end bars that I have from some deep frames that I was putting together. It's real simple, I can just insert them down in here and really get these frames pressed together firmly like this. I'm just doing this, it might be overkill, but I just wanna make sure do the same thing on the bottom. The bottom is where I'm really concerned a little more. It seems like there's a little more play down here. I think that's really gonna help. Look right here, you can see the principle behind this and that these 
cassettes approximate against each other and they allow the bees to go up through here and draw out the comb. If you've watched the channel for a while, you'll be aware of the story of Big Red, the famous Big Red Queen. I was marking her with a marker and the marker bled all over her back and down her wings. And this tall colony right here is Big Red's colony. Now I checked on her a few weeks ago and she was in there. She stands out like a neon light. But you can see they're super productive. So I've identified this as the colony to put this simple comb on. They say you need to try to get all the other honey supers off and force them to work the simple comb. But while we're doing this, I want to let you know that if you go to the simple comb website at simplecomb.com, put in the code BRUCE10, you'll get a 10% discount. This is a box I put back on here after our honey harvest last week. I bet there's a lot of bees in here. What do y'all think? Wow. This hive continues to impress. I think I put these boxes back on here on Tuesday. So what was that about four or five days ago? Really not putting much in there yet, which is good. We'll remove this box and put it on a different hive. They hadn't done a lot in this next box either, I don't think. Like I said, they just barely had a chance to start working it again. Now we're getting into some honey. I think we're definitely gonna pull this box off as well because we gotta get down to where the bees are. They're gonna work this simple comb. Look at that. We could pull that box right now and harvest honey if we, had, if we were harvesting right now, couldn't we? Oh, yep, that's ready to go. Nice thick frame though, look at that. I think this was probably a box of foundation that we put on here and they're drawing it out. But see, we had so many boxes on here. Had it just been the foundation, I'm sure it would have been full by now, but yeah, so they're drawing it out, trying to. So I think we're going all the way down to the excluder, y'all. We'll move all these boxes to other colonies and just let them focus on the simple comb. Sure hope it works. I don't see why it wouldn't. What I'm gonna do now is uh, shake uh, these bees, some of these bees out of these old supers in on top. I'm actually going to just shake the boxes here. Let's just do this. That'll make them happy. Look at that. Now for the heavy one. Woo, they're fired up. Let's cover them up and let's leave them alone. Since this box is now just right above the excluder, I'm gonna put a little stick underneath the corner here. That'll give them kind of a little bit of an upper entrance, maybe for ventilation purposes. Kind of the same reason we do the staggered effect on the other colonies. Here's Big Red's colony where the simple comb is. I'm not gonna use smoke. I really don't wanna spend a lot of time. I just wanna peek in here and see if it looks like they're doing anything up here. Really not working it yet. You smell that frame. They're up here in it, but I don't really see them building it out yet. Maybe a little bit right there in the corner. A little bit right there. They're starting to work a little bit. So that's good. All right, well, they just need a little more time. They're definitely up here in the super though, so maybe they're gonna build this stuff out and get busy with it. I hope so. I decided to move the simple comb over to this colony right here. I just have been in it a couple times and they haven't done much with it in a week, and so I decided to move it on over here. As you can see, this colony is bearding. They have been just going crazy, packing honey in. I harvested some from them. Their first harvest, I just put this box on here this morning. Moved it over from a weaker colony. And look at how they've already moved up in here. This is probably an hour or two ago I moved this box over and they're working it like crazy. So what I'm gonna do, I kinda hate to do it a little bit, but I'm gonna take these honey supers off right here and delegate them out throughout the rest of the colonies around here. Dude, this has been an incredible colony this year. I mean, look, you got a deep and a medium, I think on the bottom with a queen excluder and then five supers on here. So, these bees ought to be able to fill out a simple comb super on honey. This is the box that was underneath that top box that was already on here. This is actually a box that we harvested, extracted two weeks ago, and you can see they've already worked up into it and they're really packing it full. Completely full of nectar. 
I, I went down into Big Red's colony. It looked like they were having some cleaning issues, maybe trying to replace her. I didn't see her. Didn't see really any eggs. There was a little bit of brood, but I think that colony is struggling a little bit. So I thought I'd just get it on a good, strong colony and see what these bees can do with the simple colony. And this is the box just above the queen excluder. Looks like it's a box of totally capped honey. It's gonna be interesting to see how they do. Uh, taking four boxes off, putting one box of simple comb on there. All right, so I'm uh, taking the supers here, bumping the bees on top of the simple comb here. You can see I've already done three of the four boxes. Well, what do you think? Did I do the right thing? A lot of bees in this uh, simple comb super now. A lot of bees on the front of the hive. I think it's a better chance of having success on this colony, obviously. It seems to be a super healthy colony, super strong, and they've been packing the honey in. All right, if that colony can't do it, then I probably don't have one that can. All right, we got Rylan here. It's my son-in-law. He's down from Utah visiting. And today we're going to peek in on this simple comb colony real quick to see how they're doing. It's been on here a week since I moved it over here to Applin Farms. All right, Ryan, just pop the lid. Look at all these bees on here, man. So these bees look like they're up here working. Oh my gosh, y'all. I don't know if y'all can tell. I think I picked the right colony. Look at this. Can you see down in there? Let's just look in here. This is one of the outer frames, so I don't anticipate they're doing a lot out here yet. I think we made the right decision to move this thing. So they're starting to draw it out right here. See how they're doing that, Rylan? Right here, they've got the waxer building up in these, what they call them, cassettes. But this is the third from the outside frame, putting honey in there. Man, isn't that just awesome? All right, we got another one right there. It's coming even further along. For some reason, they like that one level, the second from the front. Let's go right in the middle. Oh yeah. Working this one right here, starting to work these two here, starting to work the front one, so. If this good honey flow continues, maybe they'll they'll draw these things out and fill them up. Isn't that cool, man? That's awesome. Now, last week, you remember, I think we took four or five boxes off of here that they were packing honey in, and so we condensed them all down. Tons of bees, and I think we're going to have success. Ryan, why don't you go ahead and put that lid back on, and that's mainly what I wanted to show you today. Thanks for your help, Riley. <laughs> well, it's been another week. Let's take a look and see how the Simple Comb is doing. Uh, this, this super has been on this colony now for two weeks. Try and do it without smoke. It'd be real easy here. Oh wow. Look at that. Looks like it's working. It's exciting. Man, another frame of simple comb right there. Now, this is the fourth frame from the edge. Let's go in one of these middle frames and check it out real quick and then we'll get out of here. Maybe another week they'll have it all drawn out, all finished up. A little weird on this one. They've built one of them kind of out fatter than the other one. I'm not sure why. It's working. They're getting it done. So they're not all perfect, but there's going to be some that are, I think. Yeah, look how beautiful those are right here. For some reason, they're not really drawing the ones out in the front as much as the other three. That's kind of interesting. All right, I don't know if this is the right thing to do or not, but I'm gonna flip this box around that way. Some of these cassettes in the front that aren't getting drawn out, maybe they will, and hopefully since they've started the ones in the back, maybe they'll go ahead and fill them on out as well. I don't know, we'll see. The bees have had enough of me though, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on out of here. Oh, that wasn't good. Yeah, they've had enough of me and I don't blame them. That didn't help matters any. A week from now, we'll actually pull this thing off and just see what we end up with. I'm gonna give them one more week and our honey flow is starting to wind down a little bit. So that's probably gonna be about perfect timing on this simple comb. I've been out here putting bee escapes on some of these colonies. So thought I'd just go ahead and put a bee escape on this one. So I'm just gonna pull this box off, go ahead and put the bee escape on and then check back tomorrow or Friday when we harvest the rest of the honey. This will be the easiest way to get the bees out of there. It's been quite the experiment. It's about to come to an end here and see how they've done. It's pretty heavy. It's actually really heavy, so they've definitely done some stuff in there. We will know soon enough. It's been a couple days since we actually pulled honey. We got all these 
colonies out here, uh, harvested, the honey pulled, except I forgot to come back and get the simple comb. And this is the fourth day, I think, with this bee escape on here, which is really probably a little bit too long. Hopefully everything's okay. Hopefully the bees haven't found their way back up into that box, but we're about to find out. I'm looking in there, everything looks okay. We'll take this thing home and later today we'll break it apart and see what we have. I'm pretty excited about it. Got three nice frames here that are probably acceptable. Same thing on this side, this one's a little fat. I don't know, the Simple Comb folks or folks who've used Simple Comb might can help me decide here. Those are four beautiful cassettes right there, soon to be packages for Simple Comb. So we'll get home, we'll get the final results here soon. Okay, we have it back home now. We're gonna check this out. This is Bracken, uh, Bracken Barker from Utah. He came down to help with the honey harvest, and so you have a YouTube channel. Yep, it's Barker's Bees and Honey. I've got uh, Bracken's hat on here. He, he sent me a hat, and- uh, I got Bruce's hat he's on. He's got one of, the, one of the very few Bruce's Bees hats that are <laughs> out there, so we, we made that little swap here, but, but uh, you know nothing about Simple Comb, right? Nope, never I've seen it. I've tried to describe it to you, but it's hard to say until you actually see what it is. So this will be his first experience with Simple Comb. We're gonna pull these frames out and see how they look and then we'll summarize at the end. All right, Bracken, let's see what we have. We'll just start pulling a frame out of the middle here. I think I shifted some frames around a little bit last time to kind of see if they would fill out. This must've been one that was on the edge and so it's not really doing a whole lot. So um let's go to some of these others it's kind of pretty right there see how bracken how it kind of they just feel put it into cassettes here and let's try and take one of these out and just see how it works you know just kind of i've never done this before so if any of you have used simple comb before and you can tell me some better ways to do things just let me know but we're going to try and take this these little packages these little cassettes out here Let's see how they work. So the way it works is, let's take these like this. I think you fold them over on each other. Like this. So this one's a little fat right here. So I don't think it's gonna work, but maybe the rest of them will. We're just gonna close them. And then we have our own little packaging. Yeah, see that one's hitting the lid. So that was not gonna work too good, but then what you do, you just tear them apart. I think that's how it works. I don't know, you're gonna have to work on that a little bit. There we go, just like that. So there we go. There's a little package of comb honey right there. Isn't that cool? That's pretty sweet. Yeah, they've done a good job with them. So see, this is what we're gonna, what we're dealing with here. Those are a little bit wonky. These are some I think that were fat last time I was in them maybe or a couple weeks ago and I kind of pulled some of that down off of there. Maybe they got mashed up against something else, but these flat ones right here are the ones you want. They're the perfect ones. You can see the bees have drawn them out and they've done a pretty nice job with them. This has been a, like about a five week process I think. But we finally see those are, these are kind of out towards the edge. They're not drawn out real well, but these are all nice. Those are all really nice ones I think they would all Pass inspection. Yeah, they look good. So I think we'll just turn the camera off here and we'll get these out, get them all processed and kind of put together. And then we'll come back with the final result. We have 34 that are really nice. And I think we could easily sell any of these in these stacks. See how pretty they are? 34 that are, I think for sure sellable. We got quite a few over here, like these are you know, we could give these away or maybe sell them for a discount, some of these, but they just didn't fill these completely out. They're just not real pretty, you know, but that you could definitely give that to friends or family as a gift or maybe use it yourself. That one's not bad. So there's some of these that are iffy. These are obviously totally full here. They're just too fat. Like you can tell, I mean, the lid can't close on them, but they, they definitely filled those out. And the rest of these are just kind of not really able to sell. I don't know if you would want to sell something like this where they didn't cap it at all or this. That's just a little bit fat. Some of these outer frames, they just didn't really do much with at all. 
that's kind of the results. I think it's a good idea. I really think if I would have gotten it on the, the hide that I put it on at the end, if I would put it on there first, I think it would have been a little better result. I just got, I was a little behind on that. We were a little bit too far into the flow. Um, so we're gonna keep plugging it. I think it's definitely worth a try. They say you can get it about eight or 10 bucks a piece. They say it's 10 bucks a piece for 34, that's $340 which is pretty darn good. And now if you can figure out how to get them to fill out all 80, of course, you can do the math there. Three things to remember though. Number one, you gotta get the right kind of frames. These frames I got from Simplecomb, they said they get their frames from Better Be. Number two, you gotta be sure you put a wax. You know, you wanna run some wax on them to make sure they'll dry out on the wax, on the little uh, print there. And uh, number three, it's gotta be a really strong colony that's not afraid to go through a queen excluder at the right time which those are some things I think we can definitely get ironed out. And we got 34 nice ones here. And so we'll see what the response is to these. I may just give some out for samples or I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. This is more of an experiment this year to see what I thought. I love the concept. The Simple Comb folks have been great and they have great customer service. If you wanna get Simple Comb, if you get a 10% discount, just go to simplecomb.com. It's spelled S-I-M-P-L-K-O-M-B.com and put in a uh, Bruce 10 for a 10% discount. I know it's getting late in the year, but in some areas you guys are probably just starting your flow, so it might be the perfect time. Rackin, I appreciate you being here and helping out this weekend and helping me uh, check out this experiment. I think next year I'll do some things differently. And you can see we were close to having way more. I'm just not sure how to manage these fat combs. I do think, I know that the simple comb people are aware of this, that this can happen, and they might be working on a solution. I'm not sure, but but give them a chance if it's something you might be interested in. It never hurts to give it a try. Y'all take care. We'll catch you next time.